most people um, are somewhat aware that grip strength yeah. is an incredibly important predictor of, in fact, there's a really cool paper. It's titled something like, grip strength is an indispensable marker of aging. Something like that, right? Which is basically saying like, you can't not pay attention to grip strength. And we've actually published a paper last year, and Tommy Wood um, from the University of Washington Neuroscientists led this project. And we've got a couple of them going, but one of the things we found there is, is we can actually predict um, Alzheimer's and dementia risk via grip strength testing. And, and strongly, we actually have a project right now that we validated in the UK Biobank, which is 500,000 people or so. We validated it in the American equivalent, which is called NHANES. Um, we can actually predict muscle quality from four blood markers. And we can also predict the risk of dementia as well from those four basic biomarkers. And those are also directly tied to, to grip strength. And so looking at things like that is saying, okay, you have some potential signs of, of either short-term or long-term physiological stress that's happening and you don't necessarily feel it yet because you're 35 or 45 and you don't feel super weak, but we're seeing these early signs. Um, one other example of that, and I'll, and I'll caution to say that there's only been one paper on this. So in science, that's a way of saying, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Like, mm, okay, but just as one example, uh, this paper came out last year and it showed that the asymmetry in your grip strength, so the difference in strength between your right and left hand is actually an early predictor of neurological decline. And the reason is, think about this, in order for your muscles to contract, they have to be sent a signal from your central nervous system, your brain and brainstem. And if you're having significant asymmetries from one side to the other, and by this they meant over 10%. Mm -hmm. So if you have a grip strength of 40 kilos on the right hand, 10% of that would be four kilos. So if your left hand is 30 kilos, that's way more than 10% difference. That may be an early sign of, of early denervation of that left side. And so neurologically, I'm potentially losing ground there. 